Happy new month family, welcome back to this new video tutorial presented by Akio Correct. So I am Fabrice from Akio Correct. It has been a while now I have not been posting videos recently that I have been so swamped up with work. I'm sorry for that. And I was actually keeping you guys updated on my YouTube channel. So you can see here is I actually left some some keys, keys that to tell you that I was not available at that moment. So my last video was done by my colleague which was how to actually download and fix content directly into your internal storage of your PC so some of you actually had questions concerning that is it only possible on the computer yes for now it is only possible on the computer so we are working on the Android version of how to have these Netflix movies directly into your gallery on your Android so while waiting for that just stay tuned with IQ Connect so before starting this video tutorial I have to start by thanking all of you guys that actually made us what three 3,800 subscribers because actually we are now at the level of 3,800 subscribers 100 subscribers to go to 4,000 so I'm very grateful for that and let me skip the talking and get into the video to of today so in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to record we're going to be looking at a very very wonderful Android trick so big but before starting this just one time to let you know play this video is strictly made for educational purposes so mind the way I'm going to use this trick so I'm going to show you guys how to record someone else call and receive the record on your google drive so what do i mean if it phone the phone of a friend actually take the phone of a friend when your friend receives a call it actually re records the call so the conversation your friend has with the correspondent calling him or her actually records it and keep it into your android device into your google drive and you have access to listen what he answered so you have access to listen to your conversation so record the call actually that's happening on your friend's phone so for this as you can see i have this phone that for this story i'm going to be using only my phone but i assure you guys i guarantee it's 100 percent working even though i'm not going to prove it i'm going to give you the step by step on how to do this so if please if it's your first time on this channel click on the subscribe button and stay tuned for more tutorial videos thanks see you next after the video introduction So as I said in the beginning of the video, I'm going to show you guys how to record the calls or the record the calls of someone else's phone. So record the person calls and actually have it on your Google Drive and listen what the person conversation. So to do this, we're going to be using an app called Callbox. So first of all, you need to go to your Google Play Store. So on Google Play Store on your search bar, you're going to need an app called Callbox. So Callbox is a free way that actually allows you to do what we're going to look into this video tutorial. So waiting for download so after downloading call box we're going to get into the interface i'm going to show you guys how to look it looks like so it's not actually heavy it's just 16 megabytes so it's not actually heavy sorry for this so there is this installing so let us just wait for the installation and please i want to shout out my our greatest son she actually coming out from india i'm very grateful for you guys and the other one coming from pakistan and those of you following us from us greetings to you all and happy new month of november I wish you the best for this month so once installation is done you can actually see it is called box so let's get into user interface so i'm going to launch in color box so for this you can see the private policies accept accept continue so we're going to allow a series of activity so i'm going to allow the permission to build their contact permission to manage calls. so make sure this is what you're going to do on your victim phone as i said i'm going to use only this phone but just take for instance this is a friend phone you actually bought it for at least four to five minutes and do what i'm doing actually right now so you download call box on the correspondence phone you want to listen his or her call allow allow and once this is done you click on the continue so now continue you need to actually display over app so you can say yes or no but actually i will say yes for this let it be displayed over app so here it is call box and it also other if you actually allow this you allow that is it after it's allow now you click on the finish so now once i don't need to set up something so i need to set up some cut some settings or to have it work properly so firstly click on this three dot here to go to the settings so the first thing on the setting i want to gain on the pin so first of all the call id so you are going to disable everything found on this page so because you don't want the your friend or the victim phone to have any thought of of something happening on his or her phone so deactivate anything here 
proceed so proceed deactivate anything that happens here proceed so deactivate it never mind what they're telling you they activate this because without one the person to actually suspect that ever anything's happening on his or her phone so deactivate everything there so you can see just get back and see it was actually called id so just check if everything is activated yes i think everything is deactivated okay no deactivate it back oops deactivate 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 proceed so okay so when this is done you click on the back arrow and check now the other thing you need to do is the call notification so deactivate any form of notification because we don't want him to have any knowledge of what is happening on his or her phone so deactivate deactivate another thing we should check at is now let us see if everything is actually done so notification and call it everything should be deactivated here so you can see call information settings are all deactivated when it is done you are good to go now let us set up our account that which all the recordings on your victim phone are going to be sent to your google account which you have access of it in another device or on your computer so you say link to google drive so at this stage on your victim phone you're going to use an email account which you have access to it on your phone or any other phone that you have access to it in order to see all the records because immediately the victim is going to receive a call it's going to be recorded automatically so you can see after linking it so good the link i'm going to blur this so you're going to link click on the link and choose the google account you actually want to receive the calls from so i'm going to choose any of my accounts i'm going to take this so what you do is that this account actually this is where all the recordings are going to be sent to this account and make sure you have access to the account you are going to choose in here so you allow so please i'm doing this because it's my, on my phone but if in the case it was not on my phone what i'll do is that i'll actually cancel if i come to link they'll actually promote to add your google drive account because i uh, because i actually i actually confirm that maybe your google your email account will not be found on your friend phone so you're going to add another account but since this is my phone i'm going to choose one account just to show you how it works so allow the permission to use this so allow once this is allow it is done now after allowing it you actually enable the auto synchronization so you that each time if call just enters it get directly uploaded to your google account so allow throw right folders so please don't activate this because this will make if you activate wi-fi only will make sure that only is only when the user is going to be get is going to be connected on the wi-fi that you are going to receive the calls but each time the their victim has data activated it's going to go to myself without asking his, his or her access but if you use the wi-fi the user need to automatically being connected to wi-fi before get uploaded whereas when it's auto synchronized each time he just he is connected to the internet the call you actually receive it directly so once this is done you are good to go so now the what is going to follow next is going to be on your phone as i said sorry for that i am not going to have a different phone so so now another thing is that we need to we need to do something to hide this call but because actually looking here it is very strange so there are many app hiders that are actually out there some other phones allows you to hide apps without needing anything else but there's another thing i almost forgot so we need to set to another thing so let us go to your yeah, apps we need to set to some other things so what will make the call box very discreet as possible in order is such that the user will not get any worries that something has happened on this phone so you need to make it selling the most so let us see all apps oops i used to call box already so yes call box so come to just look for permission notification so deactivate notification please so deactivate it's such a way should not it should not show any notification so once this is done the next thing you do is that you need to hide this app so as i told you there are many app hiders some other phones allow you to hide apps without having to use application so actually mine you do not allow you to do that but one thing you can do is that you can actually keep it in a place that the user will not actually save easily for example you can see on android phones you have these free folders for example this google you can actually come and put it in here or a place that you think like it too so i'm going to import the app to the tool so i'm just going to drag on, on the apps take it so you can keep it where you will never think to look so if i keep it here on my tool so just keeping in here and that will be good to go so now let me explain you what is going to happen 
on your phone in such a, for you to receive this call. So on your Android device, on your Android device, the one you're using yourself. So what you do is that make sure you have the Google account on your Android device, the same Google account you use in your call box in the call box application you use to sign in, in your friends phone have it on your google uh, on your phone you're actually using and you should make sure that you have access to that google account drive so you should have google drive in that phone you are using so once you have google drive you just need to go on your google drive on the phone you are using and go to the recent app so if you come here you don't need to come on recent and immediately you're going to see all the calls that are going to be entering the your friend's phone, the recordings, and you can actually have access to listen to them. Please, I assure you, this is 100% working. So please prove it, and I would, I would love to have your notification on the comments. So please, immediately, you should watch this video, prove it instantly because I don't want things that you guys are going to ask me question because this thing is 100% working. So please prove it, and I give you my words that is working 100%. So I think that will be the end of this video tutorial. Hope you love it, and if you are confused at any level, please make me know in the comment section so it was a piece of actual collect wish you the best for this week bye see you next on my next video tutorial